The Trader Cobb Crypto Show, talking business in blockchain. This show is proudly sponsored by coinspot.com.au with the largest range of cryptocurrencies anywhere in the Australian market. With an updated verification process, you can now be verified using only your driver's license or passport within seconds. You can instantly deposit funds and instantly start buying and selling your favorite cryptocurrencies in under five minutes. Coinspot are giving away $10 worth of free Bitcoin for each verified user once they make their first deposit. Just go to coinspot.com.au forward slash BTC123. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Trader Cobb Crypto Show. Today's guest, we've got another young man with an exchange. And I want to speak to this gentleman about what's different about what he's doing, what he's targeting, why he's doing it, what his background is. Of course, it's Arthur Azizov. What a cool name. Founder and CEO at B2BX Exchange and Brokerage. Thank you for being on the show. Okay. Thank you for inviting here. I'm so excited to be here on your podcast. Yeah, <laughs> because it's <clears throat> well-known podcast and uh, I'm glad to speak with you. Look out, we've got a fan blue on our hands. <laughs> Listen, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get into the depths of what this exchange is all about because look, you guys know from watching and listening to this that we do speak to a number of exchanges. And the whole idea of doing this is to understand what exchange is doing what, what the future of exchanges look like and where we can all find opportunities to effectively better our services. So before we get into the nitty gritty of the exchange itself, would you like to just talk us through a little bit about what your background is coming into this? We started, uh, we launched Bit Broker uh, in 2020, uh, 2014. And uh, in 2015, we have got one client from Malaysia and uh, they, started, uh, they started pay us uh, in Bitcoin for our services and uh, in uh, like in sh on spring in 2015 uh, first time i faced uh, like with uh, crypto space with btc mm -hmm. and uh, at that time we didn't understand what uh, we need to do what what how it works what is it you know we just uh, uh, we just keep it and uh, and then uh, in 2016, when Bitcoin price was hit uh, $800, it was November of two, uh, 2016. And uh, then uh, we realized that it's pretty interesting story. And, uh, you know, we started like figure out what is it, how it works. And at the same time, we have got a few requests from our clients, from Forex brokers that uh, they want to connect to their MT4, MT5 trading platforms. And they want, besides of the Forex, they want to provide uh, crypto CFD for their clients as well. And then uh, they ask us, guys, can you help us? Can you connect a few exchanges to our MT4, MT5? Oh, yeah. And that's uh, how we enter it to the market, to the crypto so, space. So where are you getting your, like, I mean, obviously you're a, um... You're a provider of liquidity across multiple exchanges. So what, I mean, where, where do you get the liquidity from? The first of all, it's uh, liquidity from our liquidity pool. How we do that, uh, we, we connected to multiply like major exchanges first. The second thing is uh, we attract the strong market makers to our liquidity pool. The third thing, uh, because we have now around 70 brokers, like 70 plus brokers uh, who uh, are connected to our liquidity pool. Mm. So every trade uh, create additional liquidity inside in the pool. So the, the, from very beginning, it was only uh, liquidity stream uh, from aggregator uh, like uh, we aggregate liquidity and uh, then uh, created like one stream and provided to 
uh, to the clients or exchanges. But uh, when uh, uh, our brokers, uh, when they started uh, trade, uh, so in, uh, so we got like the new liquidity because they start to place limit orders. Uh, and besides of that, we also attracted the strong market makers. And uh, the, the, the last point is uh, when we launched our exchange, the clients on our exchange also, they bring uh, the new liquidity to our liquidity pool. On a B2C so, basis, uh, right? <clears throat> yes. Uh, in, other, in other words, uh, like then more clients we have, then more brokers we connect, then uh, stronger liquidity we have. Of course. So let me ask you a question. I mean, there's a lot of exchanges out there. You know as well as I do. There are a dime a dozen. What, what, what sets you apart? Uh, basically, <clears throat> what we do on our exchange, it's uh, we do focus on uh, fiat markets and on stable coin market. Because yeah. I firmly believe that uh, only, f let's say, fiat exchanges uh, can compete now on the market. Because, for example, yes, of course, you can launch crypto to crypto exchange. It's not hard yes it's you, you don't need to follow don't like strong uh, legislation legislative you need just register company somewhere and uh, buy white label of exchange and launch it but when you want to launch uh, crypto to fiat exchange here you face a lot of new problems a lot of new challenges and so that's why uh, we do focus on fiat because uh, we firmly believe that only uh, crypto to fiat exchanges can bring real value on the market now. Okay. So, I mean, when we look at your exchange, uh, obviously there's, there's no issue with liquidity because that's what you do. You're, you're an aggregator. You're a, you're a liquidity provider. You've recently launched B2BX. Now, do you have any margin products available on the platform? Uh, unfortunately, no, because uh, we have a license uh, in Estonia, and we got license in uh, on like November of 2018. Okay. And uh, in Estonia, they considerate that if you provide marginal service, you are broker, and for broker, you need another type of license. And uh, that's why we offer now only spot trading on our exchange. But for institutional clients, we have uh, our Vanuatu license. It's like close to Australia, by the way. Uh, and uh, yes, yes. Uh, and we provide CFD liquidity. And CFD, which means it's like... Uh, forex crypto indices like uh, all type of uh, trading uh, classes of assets so uh, that's why uh, on exchange uh, for everyone for corporate for retail and for institutional clients we provide only spot trading Got it. but uh, for institutional who wants to take uh, marginal liquidity uh, we provide leverage one up five which means like 20 percent marginal requirement if they have the license uh, Yes, we have a license for that, yes. But this is brokerage license. Because, yeah, you know, this is actually two main, uh, like, uh, two main uh, concerns on the market now. Like, if you provide leverage crypto trading, the regulator, uh, uh, they can consider you as a broker. Yeah. And for broker, it's uh, financial license. Another story, yes. You know about that. You could, because you have been on the market um, traditional finance like already more than twenty years, so you know what I'm talking about. Correct, correct. So let's talk about a little bit more about uh, the exchange right now. I mean, out there in the space, and, and look, the listeners and the viewers that are listening and watching right now want to know a couple of things, and you know, they're, they're mostly traders. We, we've got a very large audience of traders because that's what I do. Now. A lot of the platforms out there don't offer us the opportunity to manage our risk easily. And that goes for the dollar risk or the Bitcoin risk, but also for the order risk. Right now, we've got a lot of platforms where I can raise a, a limit buy or a market buy or a market stop, sorry, or a market, yeah, a market stop or a limit buy uh, if I'm going long. 
Now, that's the only order that's available if there's no margin opportunity. Because if there's no, if it's spot, you can't short, right? So from our perspective, what we want to see is the linking of at least the entry in the stop. So here's an example. It's 11 o'clock at night. I'm tired as dog, right? I want to raise my order. Here's an order. Entry here. Stop loss here. But the problem is right now is that I can only raise my entry. So if I go to bed and it triggers, I have to hope it goes higher. Now, hope is the worst strategy in the world. I want to know how to manage my risk. If I trade foreign exchange, no problem at all. If I trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, or any cryptocurrency, it's an issue. Now, you may not have it yet, but when is that coming to come? And is it part of your roadmap? Yeah. Um... Actually, it's a very good question because uh, it's a real problem on the market. And, uh, you know, many exchanges, they uh, have been working just maybe one year or less. And, uh, you know, uh, the many owners of, or let's say, yeah, uh, many owners of that exchanges, they even uh, didn't... Uh, uh, work or uh, you know they 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 don't know how actually uh, uh, traditional brokers work. No, and the tech people, they, not traders. <clears throat> yes, even sometimes I, I you know uh, sometimes I meet like uh, other exchanges and uh, you know it's it's very interesting that many of them okay not many but uh, twenty thirty percent of them <laughs> they even uh, they they don't trade by themselves. And uh, I don't understand how uh, they are going to manage that. And, uh, you know, uh, that's why we uh, do care about liquidity because we understand the, uh, the problem that uh, in case what you said, what you described is uh, because there is not uh, enough liquidity uh, and uh, you get slippage when you want to enter to the market. Uh, so, uh, in order to decrease uh, slippage possibilities or uh, decrease latency of execution, that's why uh, we do care about that. The first of all, what we do, it's uh, we host uh, our exchange only uh, in reliable hosting providers, uh, and uh, of course, like financial. Uh, the, the first financial hosting uh, service, uh, it's uh, actually data center, I mean, uh, it's London, LD4. Yeah. And uh, yes, and uh, the secondly, what we do, it's uh, if you have a look on our order book, you will realize, you will find that uh, uh, on our order book, just first 20 levels, they are around 300 BTC uh, yep. for the market. So that's mean uh, when you will enter to the market or your order will get triggered. And uh, uh, so <clears throat> because you have enough liquidity, you have enough volume, uh, you will enter smoothly. Like, yeah. and yes, of course, sometimes you will get <laughs> slippage, but it's not so much, you know. Makes sense. Well, look, I mean, the best thing for anybody to do is to really understand what's going on is to go to the website and have a look at it through because one of the things that as traders we struggle with is having good uh, or lack of slippage. Now, based on what you guys do it, uh, as far as a liquidity provider, I would expect that there might be a little less issue around that volume for the slippage side of things. So if you wouldn't mind, where can we find out more information about the project, or sorry, about the exchange and about yourself so that people can follow this and have a real good look into it? Basically, like uh, which broker uh, uh, from very beginning, uh, it was uh, only technology provider for forex brokerage companies. Yep. Then uh, we started to provide forex liquidity. It was uh, in 2015, we started to provide forex liquidity. We took the all major aggregators uh, at that time on the market. For example, Integro, uh, Caronex, and then we start to provide liquidity to forex brokers. In 2016, as I said, when Bitcoin price hit uh, 800, uh, because we already had at that time like uh, 
more than 30 brokers who, uh, <clears throat> who was using our liquidity and they uh, asked us to add uh, in our liquidity pool uh, crypto CFD. So that's why we started to provide uh, crypto CFD in, uh, in the beginning of 2017. We started to provide crypto CFD liquidity, which is like marginal with leverage liquidity to brokerage companies. And uh, in 2018, uh, we launched our exchange. Uh, now we have uh, like, we have a license. We are a European compliant uh, regulated exchange and uh, we do focus on crypto to fiat. We uh, do focus on uh, liquidity and uh, of course, you know, it's not easy to, uh, to register it on our exchange because we require full KYC from first step. Even for crypto to crypto deposit withdrawals, we require KYC. But uh, we integrated with Identity Mind, which is a uh, uh, strong KYC provider, mm -hmm. uh, third party solution. And uh, uh, you can pass QIC, you can spend QIC fully automatically. It, it takes uh, usually like two minutes, you know, two, three minutes. It's, it just sounds very hard, like you need to pass QIC. But in reality, it's just two, three minutes. So look, I, you're talking about offering a CFD contract for difference. So that means I can go short on the platform, right? Yes, of course. Yeah, that's a big, yeah, that's that's a big that's, step. That's, yeah, that 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 the that the was idea, that's the idea. But you know, uh, uh, <clears throat> short uh, like because because for many uh, users, uh, especially who trade on the spot trading on the crypto spot trading, they actually they don't understand how it works. Like, how can I sell if I don't have it? That's just a lack of education, my man. Yes, exactly, exactly. That's uh, what we are going to focus, uh, to, to do the focus on that. Because, yes, I, I, I know uh, who am I. Here should, I am. Should I ask about that? Yes. <laughs> you found a guy. You found a oh, guy. No. Well, I think it's a really you know, important you know, thing for, because, you know, in a bear market, we can make a lot of money, but we just need to know how. I mean, like last year was a great year for me. Um, but I feel for people that don't know how to make money when the market falls. It's directional play and people get hooked up and caught up in the whole confusion of if I don't own something, how can I sell it? Who cares? Who really cares? Understand that if you get direction right as a trader, you can make money provided that platform allows it. Your platform allows it. My education allows it. Learn what it is and get aboard it. So look, I want to just ask one more thing at the very end of this because we've hit our time more or less to make sure that everybody can listen to this and hear the call to action. Arthur, okay. founder and CEO of B2B X Exchange and B2B Broker, where can people find more information about yourself and this platform to go and have a look at what's going on? for long and shorts, for also uh, white labeling exchanges and massive volume, where do we look? Of course, uh, the first of all on our website and uh, we have uh, our YouTube channel and uh, we, uh, we try to be a super transparent with our partners and clients. You know, uh, we never uh, hide something. We uh, uh, provide all official publications for for all our news and uh, uh, regarding uh, beach broker products uh, on our website yep. and anyone can uh, just leave a request and uh, at the same day our sales department they will call they will uh, explain they will show all our products and uh, uh, as I said before uh, regarding our B2BX exchange, uh, what uh, we try to do, it's because we realize that on, on the crypto space, the many exchanges, they don't provide uh, reliable customer support, customer service. Sometimes you need to wait one, two weeks to get a uh, reply uh, on pretty simple question, yeah. you know? 
and uh, that's really big problem in the market. And I think uh, the many exchanges, they just don't understand what is going on because I see the very uh, big competition between uh, good exchanges. And uh, that's why, you know, as I said, like we do focus on crypto to fiat, uh, on customer support, on transparency, on reliable. And, uh, you know, I realized one very interesting thing on the market that uh, if you remember just two years ago, everybody was talking about decentralization, uh, like freedom. And uh, I don't know, like, you know, now nobody wants to work with, uh, uh, with uh, decentralized, uh, unregulated exchanges. Uh, yeah. Everybody wants to work with regulated centralized and reliable exchanges who provide uh, good customer support, education, and uh, the good service. So that's interesting seeing how just in two years, uh, market is changed, you know, and uh, users, they started uh, see on that from other perspective. Well, mate, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you, getting some perspectives, not just from the exchange side of things, but also from the liquidity provider side of things. And ladies and gentlemen, it's www.b2bx.exchange to have a look at that. I appreciate your time so much, Arthur. I wish you all the best going forward. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, have a fantastic day, night or morning. Bye for now. This show is proudly sponsored by coinspot.com.au with the largest range of cryptocurrencies anywhere in the Australian market. With an updated verification process, you can now be verified using only your driver's license or passport within seconds. You can instantly deposit funds and instantly start buying and selling your favorite cryptocurrencies in under five minutes. Coinspot are giving away $10 worth of free Bitcoin for each verified user once they make their first deposit. Just go to coinspot.com.au forward slash BTC123. Views are of the advertiser, not TraderCobb or the audio presenter.